work under the supervision as the district elder according to the bylaws of the organization. What is the duty of the district elder? The district elder is to have a general survey over the field or area wherever he may be assigned. The district elder is to render proper service in the teaching of the true doctrine and guarding against false teaching and keeping the work in the unity of the spirit until we all come to the unity of the faith and therefore he must be one who is versed in apostolic doctrine. Do you pledge to follow these directives that were just read to you here and you may answer in the affirmative? I do. I do. He is to assist the local pastor as far as possible on a mutual plan in any difficulty that he may be called upon by said pastor and assist you for advice. The district elder should visit the churches in his district as often as possible. He should seek to seek. He should check to see if all pastors and ministers who hold credentials with the general organization are in order and also receive the new paper, sign them and send them to the applicant if they are in order. If you agree to carry out these functions, you will answer in the affirmative. I will. I will. He is to inquire of the churches in his district as to whether or not they are receiving the Christian outlooks and urge them to take a number of them or to increase the present number. The district elder is to promote unity and advance the work of Christ in his district where he served. He is to promote the program of his bishop and not his own. In summary, it is his duty to work with his bishop and all become workers together with Christ, according to 2 Corinthians chapter number 6, under the direction of the Honorable Bishop Henry L. Johnson, who is the Diocese of the 16th Episcopal Division of Pentecost of the World. If you agree to carry out these functions, you may answer in the affirmative, I will. I will. I bless you.